Welcome back trainers. Today we're going to be discussing our legendary raids giving out too much XP and the quality of level 40s. Now, before I start, this is not a bash video I'm talking down. This is me doing what I do on this channel, speaking out on things that other people do not, which is fine, but hey, it just gives me more opportunity to speak the truth and let people hear what I'm really thinking uh, and other people are thinking this as well. Okay, so what am I talking about is all the experience that you're getting from these legendary raids with a lucky egg. And uh, I know the event's over, but double XP with a lucky egg, I mean, was so OP. Yes, it's helping people reach higher levels, but at the same time, you had these level 40s who were who have been level 40 for a long time, who put in so much hard work before any legendary raids. Um, sure, they might have been buying lucky eggs, but that doesn't matter. They weren't getting 40,000 XP in a matter of minutes. 80,000 XP for that matter. Triple, triple raid on one lucky egg. 120,000 experience. I mean, that's out of this world. So I know there's a lot of uh, old school level 40s who think highly of this or who don't really like this and it's bringing the quality of these other 40s down and what do, what do I mean by the quality um, people are not powering up or have don't have very strong Pokemon that's what it's basically boiling down to um, so what do I think personally it's making me have to go and do these with lucky eggs to keep up to make sure I keep up on my you know XP and, and uh, newer people up and coming don't you know pass me up because they're just doing legendary rage with lucky eggs so uh, you know the, I don't personally care so much but it's an uproar in the community and I just wanted to bring it to the attention for instance if I wanted to four mandate ho ho -oh with three other people um, but, and we say we have four 40s, okay? Two of these 40s, and I'm not calling anybody out. This is not a call out. Uh, I, I'm just making an example here, okay? And two of the 40s have weak Pokemon, and they can't, we can't do it because their Pokemon aren't strong enough. Every 40 should have at least, you know, I mean, a good lineup to, to be able to do something like this. And it has become different now. I mean, it's completely different. There's 40s out here who can't th solo a three, level three raid. I mean, some of them are pretty tough, okay? That's, you know, whatever. But at the same time, uh, level, even level twos, a cloister. Some people, some 40s can't solo a cloister. And I'm just like, wait a minute. How is that even possible? <laughs> I would be able to solo a cloister at level 32. So, I don't know. Just some food for thought. This keeps getting brung up in my comments and in other places. So I'm just wondering, what do you guys think? Is it is it good? I know the legendaries aren't going to be around forever. Well, <laughs> then again, who knows? Uh, it seems like they started in the beginning of the summer. And now we're going into December and we still have legendary raids. That is so much time. Lucky eggs, hitting all these legendary raids to accumulate all this XP, you know, um, they should drop them for like a week and take them away. But at the same time, that suggestion right there is going to make so many people angry. I know, I'm sorry, I sh <laughs> because not everybody has a schedule that they can just go and raid and raid and raid and raid and raid. You know, they need this big window opportunity to go catch this legendary because they're you know they have things in life family work all that stuff all right so with that said um i don't i don't know it is what it is you know what can you do it seems like niantic is basically catering to uh the cat well not even casuals but just lower level players um for some reason lower levels are finding higher iv pokemon uh they're able to catch the raid bosses with ease, no curveball, nothing, just straight throw, caught. Um, receiving EX passes, and it's kind of out of this world. Uh, Niantic 
put out a statement saying the EX ratings are changing, but I didn't see any sort of change whatsoever in the last distribute of the EX raid passes at all. Literally nothing. Everybody who should have gotten one, there's a few people who got one that didn't, haven't received one before, but there should have been a lot more. And a st wow, what a bad throw. And I do tap it on the screen. I was talking to somebody, um, so just don't mind. This is actually a pretty amazing one. I catch it on my last ball. Not a critical catch either. Just uh, yesterday, I was like my last ball critical catch. Wow, that was some amazing luck. Now this one right here, I, I got to, down to my last ball and I was thinking, ah, I'm not gonna catch it. That's, it's okay. I got a lot of rare candies and the experience and the items, but, um, and the IV sucked, but you know, it's just nice catching it. Anyways, I catch it on my last ball. So, uh, yeah, I mean, all this this EX stuff and and the double experience for the for the legendaries it's just a little bit OP personally uh, other than that I mean you know they said what did they say about the EX raid passes they said from the from the very beginning they said do a lot of raids right they didn't really say much about gold they even said gym battles at that area uh, and you have a chance to receive an invite. This is before legendaries were even out any legendaries. And then all of a sudden they just dropped all the legendaries on us. So that was lie number one. We didn't need to do all those, okay? I guess you can't really necessarily say it's a lie more than a money grab. Uh, and then all of a sudden then they pop up with the EX passes and the Mewtwo's and then they start handing them out and then do a bunch of raids and you'll get one. And a lot of people who receive one put in the work okay let's make that clear they put in the work but at the same time a few people and i'm not saying ooh, they didn't put in work but you know they just did a few raids casual you know that's just the way it is not everybody is hardcore and they receive one at the same time other people didn't making it a little bit unfair but at the same time you have to think you can't just give all these ex passes out to to all the hardcore players and leave everybody else out that's not me thinking okay don't get don't all right, that's Niantic. They're thinking, well, they're not going to hand out all these EX passes to the hardcore players because then they're going to lose their casual player base. Uh, you know, who knows what the heck they're trying to do? I think it's more of a money grab at this point because they recently came out with that statement saying, oh, do a bunch of raids now again. We fixed it. Gold at the gym um, and still nothing. What I'm thinking is going on is the last EX pass is still under the old way whatever randomized system that they have i think the next wave will be more focused on what they said it would be people with gold people who do a bunch of raids at that spot um and have more raid counts all that good stuff so with that said that's what i've been thinking uh, i just wanted to bring this to your attention and i have been contemplating all morning whether or not i should max out my ho right now or not because I have a feeling this EX raid is going to be a Mewtwo. That's good and dandy, you know. Uh, but I just want to know, what is it going to be? Is it going to be something else? Because if I max this out right now, it's going to bring my candy count down pretty low. And don't want that right now. Even right before Gen 3 is about to drop. We can expect that pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that. With all that said, that's about it. That's all I have to say. Um, I just wanted to bring this to your attention because a few people are asking me to make a video about this. So here we are. And here we are on the last ball. And after this, I'm just going to let the next raid play out. And that's that. I should be bringing you guys some more gym battles later today. And uh, see what else I can come up with. All right. And with that said, take care. Thank you for watching. And I'll be catching you all later.